Sunday. So I am back today. And I was trying to get back today to do a video with these two boys here. They haven't had a video, I don't think, in a couple of weeks together with just the two of them. So I wanted to come also today to say thank you to everyone for all of your love and your prayers and good wishes and congratulations. I just really, really appreciate that. So I definitely wanted to come back on today and also to say thank you and also give you guys a little update on the baby. So before we get into all of that, let me say welcome to my nursery. If you are new, welcome back if you're already subscribed. And if you are new, please subscribe now. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I do new videos. And I'm not sure how the way I have the camera am I going to be all up in the camera. Because I have not done many videos back here in my room on the changing table. I think I've only done one other video or two on this changing table since I put it back here. So I'm still not too sure on positioning this tripod with my camera. So forgive me if it's not positioned correctly <laughs> or if I end up all in the video. I'm not sure because I'll be trying not to be all up in the video when I'm like in the camera blocking the baby when I'm changing them and stuff. But sometimes that ends up happening, happening when you don't have it positioned good. So I will have to feel it out and then watch the video when it's done to see if this is a good spot for my camera or not in future videos. But anyway, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, please hit, hit the like button guys, give the video a thumbs up. Um, please continue to share my videos. I will be doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway when we hit the 5,000. Um, I'm planning on painting a Vinyl Reborn and giving it away with a box opening with gifts. So that is my plan for my 5,000 sub appreciation gift at that time. Um, so please share my videos on your other social media platforms to those who may be interested in dolls or they're already collecting dolls. Please share my videos. Um, also, you may comment below and what else? I think I told I said everything. Um, there's also a heart under my videos on my channel where it is a heart with a dollar sign in it. If you wish to give something to contribute anything to my channel, that would, will be greatly appreciated, but it is not an obligation. It is not mandatory. It is all up to you. And it can be anything from a dollar on up to whatever you like. And that little heart, sometimes it's displayed right under the videos on people's channels. And then sometimes you have to click them three dots under the video and then the heart will come up along with other options that you can click. So it depends on how YouTube has it set up. They tend to change that around a lot. So anyway, right now I am feeding my little wide awake boy here. This is little Mr. Zaire Princeton and Zaire is the newest baby to come into my nursery. He's been home about a month now. He is the Zoe Ziggy Sculpt by Clear Taylor Dolls. He is an addition doll. He is all completely done by Clear Taylor from start to finish. Um, he is a rare Zoe. The addition is the Zoe addition and all of them were Zoes because they were all girls. He is the only boy so she named him Ziggy because he's the only boy, Zoe. He is also the only ethnic Zoe. 
Um, so that makes him rare because he's the only boy in the only ethnic Zoe. So he is Zoe Ziggy number 13 in the edition. And I still haven't went on Claire Taylor Doll's website to see how many Zoes are there. I am not sure how many there are. This edition is long sold out. He was created back in 2014. So he is definitely an older baby. For me, he is a dream baby for sure. He's playing with his bottle. He's not really drinking it. Um, I had wanted another Zoe. He is my second Zoe in my collection. Um, the first time I had a girl Zoe, which I called Zoe. Zoe Grace was her name. And so ever since I let go of my Zoe Grace, I wanted another Zoe. So finally here I have another Zoe and he is the rare Zoe. So I am definitely over the moon to have this little boy in my collection. Um, when I had the girl Zoe, that was back in 2017. And I got her in March of 2017, and I kept her all the way until December of 2017. And so ever since then, I knew that one day I wish to bring home another Zoe. Um, I always thought it would be another girl Zoe. Little to my supply, surprise did I ever like think, oh, I'm going to get another Zoe. And it's going to be this little boy, Zoe, the only boy and the only ethnic Zoe. Like, never in my wildest dreams, in my imagination, did it cross my mind that I would get this partic you know, particular Zoe. And as I said, when I got him, the mommy that he was with reached out to me. So I didn't even know who, you know, who had him. I hadn't seen him. Since one, the first time I seen this boy, though, was in 20, when was that? Around 2017 or early 2018, I believe it was when I seen him on another collector's channel. And at the time, I never thought I would get him. Um, she had just gotten him and then she left YouTube. She left all collecting. So I never knew, you know, like what happened to this Zoe. Well, here it is 2023. That's like at least five years later at this point. And he pops up. The mommy reaches out to me. It was a whole different mommy. So the mommy I seen him with, she didn't keep him. And um, so she sold him to someone else. And then that person sold him to the mommy that reached out to me that had him all this time. So I can't believe she reached out to me and everything worked out and I was able to bring him home and I'm so happy I was. And so this is Gabriel and I'm going to move him for a little bit while I change little Zaire first and then we'll bring Gabriel back and change Gabriel next. So yes, I'm so happy to have this little guy like, I can't stop looking at him still. Every time I look at him, I can't believe I have him in my collection. But here he is with his beautiful brown eyes. So they're going to put on these little Nike rompers today. And I was able to find two of them. Little short rompers with Nike on it. And I have these little Nike booties. These are black with white. And then I have this pair. I don't know which way that Nike symbol is supposed to go. I assume it goes like that, same direction. Um, gray with black and white. So I'm looking at messages on my phone again. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to be putting them in these so they can be matchy-matchy. And with Gabriel and Zaire, I'm kind of treating them like my twin boys, which I just moved Gabriel off the table just in case you're new. So, this is Zaire and Gabriel is the baby I just 
put on the bed that you can't see at the moment. And they are not twins. They are two different sculpts. But for me, I feel like they are definitely my fraternal twin boys. Um, I love the two of them together. I think they just make like the perfect little pair of fraternal twins, brothers. So since I had the two of them the past month, having the two of them together, I kind of like keep the two of them next to each other. Like wherever I have one of them laying, the other one is there. And I'm like slowly buying little matching outfits for them, which I said I was going to try not to really buy too many matching outfits. But of course, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is the back of him. I love all the colors on him. This is like a birthmark right here on his back. He has powder under his neck, which I just repowdered it. So this baby is an older baby. So he is poured with the ball jointed neck. And when I powder under it, I definitely put a lot. I just powdered under there before the video. And the powdering helps the ball jointed neck to turn easily. Basically, that's what the powder does under there. It keeps the neck easy to turn and it makes it where you won't put extra unnecessary pressure on their neck. So being that it's summer, I noticed I had to powder under his neck again because I did it when he came home and it's been a month. So I did it again today because I noticed the powder had like it had wore off. It sweated away. And with the Zoe, they have these little crinkly ears, if you can see it. I love their ears. It's like that newborn little crinkle that some babies have when they're born, if you can see it. I love his little ears. My real babies had the, like ears like that when they were born, where it had that little crinkle. Um, so every time I look at his ears, it reminds me of when my babies were born. They little ears were like that. So yeah, I had to powder under his neck again. Because definitely in the warm weather, because it's warm here now in Georgia, the silicone babies tend to react to this warm weather and they will tend to sweat sometimes. Or you touch their silicone and it just feels kind of tacky not really sticky but it feels different sometimes it actually could feel sticky it depends on your baby these babies don't feel t like sticky sticky but i could touch them and tell if they need powder now the rest of his body feels fine but under that neck i could tell he needed more powder because when i was trying to turn it this morning is like it was giving me a little bit of resistance to turn it so that's when I said, okay, let me go ahead and put his powder under there. Because with these, these ball jointed silicone babies with the ball joint neck, I know a lot of the older babies have where the necks pop. The ball joint actually breaks. And I've heard of it happening, as I told y'all last year with a doll I sold the mommy um broke the baby's neck when turning it and i've heard of other people saying like their baby's ball joint like it broke and depending on how it breaks sometimes if it actually break you can't fix it um most you would have to ask like an artist or a sculptor to fix it because we wouldn't be able to, like, um, just average collector, you cannot fix it. And so what a lot of the collectors do, they will just glue it back on, like glue the head onto the ball joint. And unfortunately, once you glue it back on, it'll stay on if you use the right con kind of glue. But then you can't turn their head anymore ever again. It's not turnable. Um, it's just basically stuff like that. So, and you can't really take it off. Once that glue is stuck, depending on what kind of glue it is, you, you can't even take it back off. 
So to prevent that, I try to make sure I keep powder under any babies, like under their neck, any babies that I have that's ball jointed. He has the ball joint and then Gabriel that I just had over here also is an older clear Taylor doll and he also has a ball jointed neck. So the two of them are very similar. They have the same body style, him and Gabriel. And they both have the ball jointed neck. Their whole body is basically the same body. I don't know if she, like Claire Taylor, re-sculpted the body for, for Gabriel because the Zoes are older. This baby's older. But definitely the same little body is one of my favorite body styles that they have, the sculpt. And then just their faces are different. And then, of course, this baby has the open eyes. And I love, love, love his open little eyes. I think they are so cute. The shape of them, the color. And he just looks like he's looking at me all the time. And I love their little feet. They have one open foot and then one balled up foot. And then basically their hands are open. So you got to be careful with their little fingers. So he is wearing, I think these Nike outfits are a zero to three months. The little shoes are, the booties are zero to six months, they say. But they these are so little. Like, I don't think a six-month-old baby could fit these. So I this is actually like a lighter blue, like that royal blue, white, and then dark navy blue. And then these are actually black and white, but we're going to make it work because I don't have blue Nike booties, I don't think. I need to get some more because I do like Nike stuff for my boys. And this was actually supposed to be my little James's booties. And like I was supposed to be doing the Nike theme with my little James, my Sage by Claire Taylor. But I've only put like one thing on him, I think, since he came home, since I painted my sage. He had one little Nike sleeper that I put on him so far. And he never wore these booties. So these little boys will wear the booties first. Um, I'm going to give him this ma'am pacifier. And then we're going to get his brother over here. So before I keep going and rambling, again, I want to thank all of you. This is KY Personal Lubricant. It's water-based. You can use any brand. It doesn't have to be KY, but it's good to rub on the pacifier nipples and the bottle nipples because it helps the bottles and passies to glide into these silicone babies' mouths so easy. And it doesn't, it like keeps the passy from rubbing on their mouths, on their lips and messing up their gloss or their paint on their lips. Let's see, can you guys see him? Yeah. So that is him with his little outfit. And like these outfits, wow, it fits him so perfect. You know how sometimes you get some of these rompers and they so big and baggy on the baby. But this fits him like a glove, like it was made for him. So that is little Zaire Princeton. So now I'm going to move him and get his brother. And then before I end the video, I'll try to put both of them over here. But yes, I wanted to definitely thank you guys because all of your prayers and your well wishes and your congratulations really just really uplifted my spirits um because like I said having a premature baby my little grandbaby is a preemie if you're new and you don't know that whole situation that is in the video right before this one I'll try to maybe put it at the end of this video but if not, you can go to my channel homepage and the, all of my videos are there. And the video that's right before this video, you'll see where I'm sharing news, it says in the title. And you'll hear all about my new grandbaby. 
she was born last Wednesday on April 19th. So she is now over a week old. Today is Sunday, so she turned a week on, on this past Wednesday. And see, this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So she's about 10 days old now. 11, actually 11 days old today. And when I did the last video a couple of days ago, and I announced her birth to you guys, and I asked for you guys' prayers, she was doing pretty good that day. And I went up to the hospital later on. After I did that video, I told you guys I was going to go up to the hospital in the evening. And to my surprise, that evening, she actually had took a little steps backwards, guys. And it was scary because she was doing good. And then all of a sudden, that day, they had ran some tests and she wasn't doing too good. Like she was struggling more with her breathing and everything. And they said that she had an infection. So they had to put her on um, antibiotics. So I'm so happy that I had came on earlier that evening and ask you guys to pray and everything because we definitely were in need of your prayers. We had already needed prayers, but then when I went up there and heard that she was doing, you know, not doing so good, I was so scared. And then when I got home later that evening and I was looking at all of you guys' um, comments and everything and saying how you were going to pray and you were praying for her, it really like comforted me to know that all of you who are were praying and are praying for her because definitely i feel like your your prayers are definitely working your prayers are needed as they say prayer in unity more people praying the more the prayers are heard and answered and i truly believe in that i believe that um and she is doing much better. When I went back up there on Friday and then yesterday, she was doing much better. So please keep those prayers going up, guys. Please keep little Alora in your prayers. So he's getting this same outfit. And this is Gabriel Andrew. Okay, these are newborn size. I thought they were zero to three months. They're newborn Nike. Gabriel, this is Gabriel Kingston Andrew. He is the Andrew scope. He has the squishy tummy. He is also on a ball jointed neck. Two piece pour. He was created in 2015, October. And he is the only ethnic dark skin boy in the andrew edition that's his back i love how his back looks he also has powder under his little neck <laughs> um and it always drips out but like i said i rather the powder be dripping out of there than they neck pop so yeah he was created in 2015 i first brought this little guy home in 20 june of 2017 and so I've had him. This is the longest standing baby, definitely in my collection. Also a dream baby for me when I got him. And he still is to this day. I absolutely love this boy. And as I said, him and his brother Zaire over there have the same exact little bodies. But I think Gabriel here looks chubbier to me. And I think it's because he has this squishy tummy it makes him look chubbier i don't know if he was re-sculpted when she when claire taylor did his edition because he was created a year or more after zaire over there the zoes so it's the same body but to me this baby looks bigger not much bigger but he looks chubbier to me and i'm thinking it's because of the the um squishy tummy he has 
So they both pretty much can fit the same size though. And they are eight pounds, like eight and a half pounds, eight pounds, eight ounces, if I'm not mistaken. He is, I'm not sure about Zaire. Zaire might not be eight pounds, eight ounces. He could be like eight pounds, four ounces. Because like I said, this belly makes this boy a little bit bigger. He looks like, um, but they both can fit newborn size clothes in some of the clothes if they're not real, real tight and tiny. Um, cause when you try to put a zero to three months on them, sometimes it could be a little bit too big. They'll fit it, but they'll have a lot of room in a zero to three months. So basically these sculpts, the Zoe and the Andrew are kind of what you would say newborn size baby, basically. So I love both sculpts though. Like I said, I love their body style. I love this little boy's handsome little face as well. And I love that he's asleep. Um, I love sleeping babies, as I said, because they look more realistic to me. Um, they're easier for me to take them out if I want to take them on an outing because I don't like to get reactions. I just like the baby to look realistic as possible. And people just think it's a real baby. And I just go on my merry way on my outing wherever I'm at. And nobody even noticed that it's a doll. So I like having this little boy. He is usually the baby that I would take on outings. This little boy right here. Um, because he's sleeping and his painting and everything, his hair, he just looks so realistic. In person and on camera, he looks realistic to me. But at the same time, I do like having my little Zoe, Ziggy boy, Zaire, because he's awake. Because sometimes you want a baby that way you can see their little eyes. And I like talking to Zaire because he looks like he's looking at me. He looks so alert. So I do enjoy having an awake and an asleep boy. And they just match each other, as I said. They make a good set of little fraternal twin brothers here. And I do love twins. I do, I do. So I'm probably going to end up here near where I can. I'm going to probably buy them like a little bit more outfits that, you know, where they can dress alike and be like little twins. So where did I put my lubricant at now? I just had it. What did I do with it? That's so weird. What did I do with that lubricant? And I just had it right here, and I don't see it, you guys, because I want to give him this gray, ma'am, pacifier. And so let me look on my bed real quick, because I know I just had that lubricant, and I sat it somewhere over here where I'm at, and I don't see it. I just hate that. Don't you guys hate that? Like, you could just have something in your hand. You just had it, and then you can't find it. And it's not on this bed, on this changing table. And I don't like putting the passies in their mouth without that lubricant. I really don't because it just rubs on their mouth. I guess I'll have to get Gabriel his after the, the video. Watch I'll find it as soon as I turn off the camera. And he's not sitting on it. It's not over here anywhere. That's strange. But anyway, okay, I'll just give Gabriel his passy afterwards. So you guys follow us on Instagram if you are not already. My Instagram link is always under my videos in the description. You just click it and it'll take you over to my Instagram. That is where I put the baby's pictures. By then I'll find find the lubricant and give Gabriel his pacifier so you guys will see him with his passy as well but this is the two boys in their little outfits and they fit them so perfectly um but yes you guys I really really as I was saying think that you guys prayers that night really really helped my granddaughter, I was definitely praying. We were all praying 
you guys were praying and definitely she has improved in the past couple of days so much and i'm so relieved and so happy um but of course she's only she was born at 28 27 weeks and two days and that was 11 days ago she is now 28 weeks and you have to count up them days so i always get confused but the gestational age that she would be right now is about 28 and a half weeks. I, I, I would have to count it. I should have did it before the video. But I'll tell you guys her exact gestational age at this point when I do my next video. And I'll give you another update. But they have ran more tests on her. And then they're going to do some other tests tomorrow on Monday. So we'll find out a little bit more about how she's doing tomorrow, but definitely she's still doing pretty well last night when I was there and today so far. So things are looking good. I'm so happy. Also, when she was born, she was two pounds and 8.9 ounces. And as I said the other day, she had actually lost and was down to two pounds, 7.5 ounces. But that day when I went up there, because she's getting the breast milk now, she had went up to 2.10 ounces when I was there on, on, I think that was Thursday or Wednesday. I think it was Thursday. And then by yesterday, she was up to 2.10 ounces, you guys, already two pounds and 10.5 ounces, I believe, yesterday. So she is gaining weight pretty fast now because she's getting that little breast milk. So definitely she's doing good. She's heading in the right direction. So please pray for us. We have a big day again tomorrow, like I said, with them doing more tests on her. So please, guys, continue to keep us, keep her in your prayers. Little Alora, keep my family in your prayers. And I thank you guys so much. And also, I forgot to thank you guys for my daughter last, it's been a month ago now, since she had that dental surgery. Those of you who said you were going to keep her in your prayers, I kept forgetting to say thank you to you guys. I appreciate it because that was scary as well because I said she had to have anesthesia and that was freaking me out that she had to actually be, you know, under anesthesia to have that, that dental surgery. And she had five wisdom teeth. Normally we have four. My daughter had five and they pulled all five of them at one time. So that was definitely scary, but she did well, but she did have to stay home from school for like a week and a half to recover after that. And her whole face was swollen for like over a week. But she recovered and she's back to school and doing good. So I wanted to thank you guys who was praying for her as well. That was my daughter, Nicole, my 16-year-old, soon to be 17. So anyway, that is the update for today. That is little Gabriel Kingston. And that is Zaire Princeton. And they are both by Claire Taylor Dolls. And there is a website, ClearTaylorDolls.com. And also a YouTube channel, Claire Taylor Dolls, if you are interested in her dolls. Both of these babies are long sold out additions. They are older babies at this point. But definitely, I love, love, love both of them. So they are my boys today. And that is my video. So you guys have a nice week. I'm not sure what day I'll come back on with the next video. But whenever I can squeeze a video in, in between hospital runs, <laughs> I definitely will keep you guys updated. Because a lot of you said you would like updates. So I definitely will come on with updates and change a baby here and there, do a video whenever I can. So thank you guys and take care. Until the next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.